please welcome the ever magnificent Meryl Streep is on the show. Would you believe it? How are you, Meryl? Are you well? I'm very well, thanks. I feel extremely weird sitting in my own living room in the covered in dog hairs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, well, well, I've seen you on a lot of Zooms these past few months, and I'm, I'm liking this little background that you've got for yourself here. This is a lovely painting. Yes, well, there's just... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, I'm home and, and uh, commuting to Boston to make a movie. That's right, and it it's just so... started. Yes, I just started on Friday, and... Because um, yeah. this is your first well... film... Because I know you were supposed to start this before lockdown, and this is your first time back after, I imagine, for you, quite a long period of not working, right? What was it like being back on set yes. for the first time? It was um, horrible. Why? <laughs> I mean, Why? well, honestly, because, because I, mean, I was here, you know, we had a quarantine for two weeks and no one could come and they delivered meals and... And I've been tested up the wazoo like a hundred <laughs> times. And so I, I'm playing the president of the United States in this film. And I'm, the first day of work was a great big address to a stadium, a basketball stadium. And they'd sent me the script and I'd learned a big speech for the first day. You know what it's like. Usually you like to get in and out of a car the first day of sure. work or something. Just yeah. to ease in. But this was full on, and there was my big face on the jumbotron in front of me, and it was just so huge and cavernous, and uh, the speech was uh, rewritten, and I hadn't gotten it the night before, so I tried to learn it really fast, and it was just, I couldn't remember anything I was supposed to say. And the extras are all looking at me like... <laughs> So, hang on, you got up there and you just kept forgetting your lines. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. And the, but I had the great Jonah Hill with me, and so he would improvise around and, and, and have fun, but it was just sort of, you know, that feeling, it's like, it's like high school, you didn't study for the test, or you have a dream of, of, that you didn't, uh, that you're nude on stage in high school or something. It just felt terrible. I had, the, like white hot lead going down to my feet. And I, I, <laughs> I got through it somehow. And I got in my car and ripped off the fake eyelashes and drove home with my dog. I mean, and then I was back in the silent night. And it was just <laughs> so <laughs> bizarre, you know? People, all of those, all of those uh, extras must have just been like, it's amazing what they can do, isn't it? Because she is terrible. <laughs> she is I'm sure. terrible. I'm sure. And maybe they're like, a lot of them must have been like, Donald Trump was right. She is overrated. This is. <laughs> I totally agreed with him. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've had the privilege of carrying you through two movies now. We. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a privilege. It is. A, and we, the, the first time we worked together was in, uh, it, was, it was in 2013 on Into the Woods. Oh, and uh, it was the most glorious time doing that film. And I don't know if you knew about that. Did you know that I started a rumor on the film when you weren't in in the morning that you'd been fired from the movie? <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the best ruses I've ever had in my life. And people really went for it. They were like, no. Were you aware that this was going on? <laughs> no, but they, they were very glad to see me the next day when I came <laughs> to set. But were, were, were people relieved, kind of? No. Did you get that feeling? Everyone was devastated. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone was devastated. And, and, and I couldn't have done it on my own. It was only because I had Christine Baranski backing me up. Oh, she's an evil bitch. Yeah. <laughs> It really is. As soon as I, as soon as I winked at Baranski, she just went into, <laughs> she just went into, Meryl is devastated. <laughs> She's devastated. She's flown home on a jet. She's devastated. Oh, but that was, that was such a great shoot, wasn't it? Was it? Glorious. it was so much fun. Have you ever been, yeah. has Meryl Streep ever been fired from anything? Have you ever, have you ever experienced that? <laughs> Only from relationships. <laughs> not from a job. <laughs> no, 
Now, let's talk about the prom. I, I can yeah. honestly say I had the single greatest time of my life on, on the days, my career, on the days that you and I were, were together. Um, for yeah. anyone who doesn't know, tell them what the film's about and who you play. Oh, well, it's about, it's a, based on a real story from uh, um, a little couple in Indiana, two girls who wanted to go to the prom together. And the PTA didn't want, you know, same-sex couples at their prom, high school prom. So they fooled this young girl into thinking that the prom was going to be held in the gym, and it was not. If They held another one somewhere else, and she was left on her own. And it sort of um, it made the news, and uh, they made a musical of it that was an enormous hit on Broadway, but has since closed. I think they're reviving it, actually, right now. Oh, I hope but, they do. Um, oh, I do, too. I saw it right before it closed, and I've never seen an audience just screaming with joy. It was so much uh, fun and really, really, really great. But you and I play big uh, Broadway stars who are on the ebb of their careers. And uh, they sort of tanking and they try to, they decide to take this cause of the girls and go out to Indiana and, and uh, get some good publicity, you know. And you play an incredible character called Dee Dee Allen, who is sort of a yeah. self-obsessed diva narcissist. Was this a stretch for you? <laughs> I don't know where I pulled it from, but I did watch you for <laughs> several months in preparation. And I had the character. <laughs> You did no, actually I love, say... I love playing. I love playing. I mean, narcissism is, is hilarious unless it's, you know, the president. And it's really <laughs> yeah. Horrible. I mean, when we were when we were shooting the film, you you would you would constantly say that you were worried about the big dance numbers. You would say it all the time. <laughs> like you was just so. And some of my favorite yeah. moments are in those dance routines, and you just <laughs> to the corner of your mouth going, "I can't <laughs> do this." But you were. <laughs> you, you were so you were so fantastic in them. Uh, yeah, how did how did it feel for you when we did those big songs and dances? Oh, I was so worried. We were so. You're such a fantastic dancer. I well, mean, I, I I didn't know that about you, but you are. You're amazing. Yeah. No, it was it was really hard when I went to see the when I went to see the Broadway show. I saw the great Beth Lavelle do the part, and yeah. she was amazing. But she did a lot of posing. And she did a lot of standing and moving her arms. And I thought, I can move my arms. <laughs> um, and then we <laughs> got to the rehearsals, and it was these big dance numbers with um, multiple sort of steps and things. And that was hard. But we were all terrified. You're so terrific. My favorite memories are like the two of us being lifted up by those dancers <laughs> and carried through sardines. <laughs> I'll never, ever, ever forget it. You, you are so incredible.